big, it's huge. Like, look at the size of Look at the size of my face compared to this thing, it's massive. Hey guys, Hi. Zach and Kelly here from Scenic Sights and Bites. Day two of Vegas for us. And uh, let's see, so this morning we walked down to uh, the Miracle Mile Planet Hollywood, had some breakfast at Blondie's. Okay, we are on the Miracle Mile. We came here for breakfast. This is Blondie's. And this place is pretty cool. It actually looks like you're outside, but uh, that was my finger. But we are inside the building. It's actually daytime out, but it looks kind of dark here. Um, yeah, it's kind of a neat little, neat little place. At Blondie's, they had a breakfast special on there, three ninety nine, and, uh, and we had to pay for our toast and coffee and tea. But um, which made it a lot more than three ninety nine. So heads up, don't get toast, coffee, just get water. And if unless you want to pay two dollars for your toast, three fifty for your coffee or tea. So it kind of doubles your three ninety nine breakfast. So if you just want a cheap breakfast with water, $3.99. You're doubling the price if you get coffee for $3.50 at $2 for toast. And then we uh, hopped on a lift and came down here uh, to downtown. Now, uh, one thing about the lift and Ubers, they've got specific pickup locations. We didn't realize that. So when it says pick up outside of Planet Hollywood, uh, it's not. You actually have to find the the uh, spot where the valets and the taxis yeah. and everybody can stop. Every location has a specific pickup spot. So find out, ask somebody inside where that is before you even order, because you have specifically two to three minutes for them to get where they are when they pick you up, or they have the right to actually leave and still charge you for the ride, which goes right on your credit card. Which which would suck. So anyways, we are downtown here now. We're gonna be visiting the donut, oh, <laughs> We're downtown here. We're visiting the Donut Bar. Now, uh, we didn't discover this. We watch YouTube videos as well. And one in particular, say hi to Matt. Or say hi to Matt. Say hi to Matt. Um, yeah. Anyways, he talks about the Donut Bar so much, you would almost think he was an owner of it. Um, but I got to tell you, it's it looks fantastic. So we're going to go check it out for ourselves. And apparently, if you yeah. mention Matt, they've got a say hi to Matt discount in there. So we're, yeah, so we're definitely, definitely going to be doing that. Uh, so shout out to you, Matt. Uh, thanks for pointing this out to us. We're gonna go check it out now. Yeah, and you have to go there way before 12 because they close uh, when they're sold out, which is before lunch. So get there early. Oh, that's the big Papa Tart. Say, Ma say hi to Matthew. Oh, wow. He he talks about this place, so that's why we're here. And uh, thank you. That's his, what the s'mores Pop Tart. What's that one? I'll, I'll get a s'mores Pop Tart for myself for sure, definitely. Really? And, and Matthew's coming this weekend, I think, right? On Friday. On Friday. What are you, what are you getting? Hi, how you doing? I've seen you on camera on, on Say Hi to Matthew. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's why we're here. So. Uh, we're leaving Friday. Friday morning. So, which sucks because we were hoping to... Yeah. Yeah. It does look good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try this big yeah, pop of tart here that we ordered. It's big. <laughs> it's big, it's huge. Like, look at the size of Look at the size of my face compared to this thing, it's massive. All right. I think there's a pop tart okay. inside. I haven't got to it yet. Right. It tastes good so far. How's your? Uh, how's your uh, 
Today I'm getting the apple crumb. How's your uh, like creme brulee? It's really crunchy on top, like creme brulee is supposed to be. The sugar and the cream in the middle. I haven't left with the cream yet. So I only took a little tiny bite, as you can see. This is a regular size donut, not like not like that one. Pop -tart. That thing is like the size of three donuts or four, maybe. Two times American Gladiator Donut. Ask for the American Gladiator Champion Donut. Oh. Here's the donut for a little piece of the mouth. Just wanted to get the cream taste yet. Yeah. Maybe I gotta get to the middle of mine. I gotta get to the middle of mine too here. We'll let you know how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it looks like there's looks like we uh, came across another YouTuber. I think this is a popular place for YouTubers to come. Because uh, they seem to be doing something over there, so Okay. okay, so we just uh, finished off at the donut bar. It was really filling. Like I tell you, um, that that big pop of tart. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so full. Um, I, I don't know how people can eat that like that much at one time. Although we just had breakfast in all fairness. Well, it, Matt eats like three of those donuts. Yeah, that's, I don't know yeah how say hi to Matt. Like I don't know how he does food. that. Um, I, and I thought I could eat. But anyways, it was great. It was definitely worth it, uh, worth the experience. Come out and check out the donut bar here in Las Vegas if you're here. Um, I'm drifting. Check out Las, check out the donut bar in Las Vegas when you come here. And uh, it's certainly worth it. Anyways, our Lyft is here, or our Uber or Lyft? Our Uber is here. So we are gonna go ahead for our Segway tour now. Okay, Segway Las Vegas. Looks like we're at the right place here. Just gonna go inside and check it out. Uh, learning here. She's you know. doing real well. Yeah, most people are trying to <laughs> your speed though, maybe a little faster. Keep your knees bent, don't worry, I got you. Oh perfect. So let me tell you about the Segway Las Vegas tour. It was pretty good. We've never been on a Segway before, so we weren't quite sure what to expect. Um, but they took you through all the steps. We did a little bit of uh, training in the parking lot, and then we went to an obstacle course that he had inside the warehouse, actually. And uh, so they kind of taught you how to maneuver around things, uh, duck things, you know, uh, swerve, do just about everything except for jumps. And uh, that was really cool. One of the places he took us to was the pawn shop from the Pawn Stars TV show that I'm sure you've uh, probably seen or at least heard of and it's pretty good it's a little smaller than I thought it was going to be um, some of the stuff that they have in there is really cool though um, definitely things that a collector would want to have now as we were going we were following our guide the whole way and he would point out any potential hazards and obstacles as well he had a microphone that uh, was hooked up to some wireless receivers that we were all wearing so he would tell us all these cool interesting facts about downtown las vegas and we could hear him in our ears which was great because we didn't have to just blindly follow not knowing what we were looking at we also stopped at uh, a few places along the way to give our feet a rest one of our stops was Container Park. This is a shopping plaza made entirely out of shipping containers. Hey, so we're here at JoJo's Jerky and Maggie is there. She just sold me some awesome triple threat, triple threat uh, beef jerky. Yeah. And I highly recommend you come here. They, they give you uh, taste samples and boy, oh boy, is the stuff ever delicious. So yeah, come check it out. Las Vegas, downtown. Container Park, is that right? Yep. Abbey Road Crosswalk. So we finished up the tour, it was amazing, uh, tiring on the feet, but you get used to it after a while. And this is Kendall photobombing me. 
And Ash, Ash from Cleveland, <laughs> Ohio. Loved it. Yeah, and they, they were with us on the tour. We had a great time. We had so a fantastic far. tour. And a fantastic this is tour Sean, guide. our great Sean tour Sean from St. Mary Las Vegas. Come down and see us sometime. <laughs> Yeah, we'll take down. you out on a glide. <laughs> <laughs> it was really informative and lots and lots of fun, so I recommend it highly. <laughs> and this is the place. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It was really cool. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Really. So the uh, Las Vegas City Hall, it's got all those solar panel kind of trees in front of it. And apparently they, it can run under its own power if it has to. It's kind of neat. I don't think what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas anymore, not with the invention of the internet. What, are you saying YouTubers like us ruined it for for everybody no, in Vegas? I think the internet in general. Just Twitter, <laughs> uh, Twitch, Switch, Twitch, I don't know. What is it, what do we have? We have everything. We've got As you like Snapchat. To call it, the interweb. <laughs> the interweb, yeah. Yeah, Twitter, Snapchat, all those guys. Email, Email. Oh my God, just about anything, right? So yeah, what happens yeah. in Vegas ends up on um, YouTube. On, the on world social media, on web, the internet. In an instant. Yeah. So <laughs> behave. When we behave, were born, guys. you could get away with things because nobody would know only the people you're with. Yeah. Now, the second you do something, it's caught on camera. Everybody knows whether you want them to or not. And it may not even look like what happened because pictures can make things look like something else totally. Not that we're doing anything wrong. Just let that be known. What are you doing? You press TV wait, comms, it says wait, wait. wait. It's telling you to, you, you don't like to wait? I just like hearing it. Yo, would it be funny if it said, lady, for Frank's sake, stop pressing the <laughs> damn button. I would laugh so hard. We're just gonna see, oh, McDonald's. Not, not. So there's Oscars, that's that place that, you know, if you wanna spend 200 bucks for a steak, I hear the food is amazing. <laughs> well, it's not $200, but it is, it's a, it's a pretty high-end steak place. Um, we've seen it featured on on, uh, other, on another YouTube channel, and it looks great, it really does, but it, it is, everything's kind of a la carte and it's expensive. Um, so that won't be happening on this trip. But uh, yeah, if you want a good steak, probably check it out. So Oscars is at the base of the plaza, which was which was uh, Biff's Pleasure Palace in Back to the Future Part Two. So uh, go watch Back to the Future Part Two. It's a great show. Huh? So this is a huge LED canopy that they have here on Fremont Street. And just the amazing light show that's going on day, day or night is pretty cool. And I guess this cowboy is kind of an iconic character from Fremont Street. So uh, that's pretty neat. Now Kelly just pointed something out here. Looks like they've got another, uh, looks like a margarita type alcoholic slushy. Okay, so any kind, I don't know if you can hear Kelly. Kelly, say it again. Any kind of alcohol you want in a slushie. Interesting. With, with any kind of prices too, I bet. I imagine. Well, it's probably cheaper than on the strip. So what, what flavor? They got cosmopolitan, watermelon, orange. We've got cotton candy, Moscow mule, purple haze. I don't know what that tastes like. Lemonhead, root beer, blueberry, lemonade, new flavor. <laughs> Sour green apple. Cherry, Crown of Coke, Crown and Cream Soda, Strawberry Pineapple Margarita, Margarita Pina Colada, Strawberry Pineapple, Fruit Punch, and Long Island Iced Tea. And then these are the different cups. Now there's a place on the strip we were looking at yesterday and you buy, buy it once and then after that you keep the cup and just get paid for refills. 
So I imagine they probably do a, the same kind of thing here. I don't know. Can you? No. Oh, that's cool. I like that. You can share that. You can get yeah. your daiquiri and I can get my pina colada. Yeah. Later, though. What? Later is too early. What time is it? It's 2.46. Is it 2.46? Is that Vegas time or is yeah. that? 2.46. That sounds like the perfect time. Uh, I want to eat first. Yeah, I want to eat too. I don't want to have anything to drink on an empty stomach. Can you imagine how much work it took to build this LED canopy? Can you imagine how much it cost? If anybody that's watching this knows how much it costs to build this thing, comment below because I'd love to know. That's uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna forget to Google it, but that that's really cool. Look at that! You can even advertise up there. Oh, there's some love for him and some hate for him on here. What is that one? What the heck is that? Oh, that's scary. All right. Oh, the body of a god. <laughs> so if you're looking for a cool t-shirt, something unique, something that suits your style, Fremont Street here, they got a t-shirt place. Like nothing I've seen, I gotta say there's some very, very different, very interesting shirts here. Not even open. So this food truck has uh, some really good smelling food. But the thing is, where do you sit? That's the problem. So we decided not to go with the food truck. They had some interesting food there, but just wasn't quite what we were wanting, even though it smelled good. So we're just gonna keep on walking down Fremont Street. So I don't know if you, you guys can see this. Overhead, you can see a number of wires. That's the, uh, those are the wires for the zip line that you can do. You can zip line all down Fremont Street, which is, uh, sounds really cool. We might, we might do that. I think we need to wait to cross the casino center. Walk sign is on to cross casino center. You'll find an Elvis in Vegas. Look at that ceiling now. We just passed, passed a place called Wanna Taco, and it made me want a taco, but I've also noticed up ahead is a White Castle, and well, I, I gotta say, I've never had White Castle, except for the crappy stuff that we got in the frozen food market, but uh, the real White Castle, I don't know, so. Now it's, do we go to White Castle? Do we go to Wana Taco? Do we go to both? Callie's not that hungry to go to both. And uh, I don't have enough money to go to both. But, so what do we do? I mean, well, we could always go two different days, right? Callie, do our dogs need Vegas t-shirts? I do not think they do. Let's get a better look at Slotzilla. That's the starting point up there. We've got two different levels, that looks like. There's cables up ahead and cables down below. And I think it's different prices for, depending on how far you want to go. And if uh, you're gonna go Superman style or sitting. Okay, right, right. And then over here is, uh, well, there's a Walgreens. Walgreens, which is, Walgreens is great if you want to buy water and stuff and keep it in your hotel room. Uh, but over there is, is Denny's. 
and on our Segway tour, he was telling us that that Denny's has a full bar and you can actually get married at the Denny's in Vegas. So if that's on your bucket list, if you've always said to yourself, geez, I wish I could get married at a Denny's, well, come to Vegas, you can get married at Denny's. That is annoying, that wait to cross. Wait. That is, I don't know who, who invented that. It's horribly annoying. Okay, so where are we going to eat? White Castle. Here we well, come. So you can't use it. If you eat in there, I'm sure you can. I don't know. If they have one. I don't think you can. Okay, so they do have a bathroom for customers only. So we're at White Castle here on Fremont Street. And there's their menu. Now we just got to figure out what we're going to eat. Okay, so this is what we've got here. We've got four cheese sliders. And what are these? Onion chips. And then... Loaded fries. Loaded, they're supposed to be, let's see. Yep, loaded fries. It says on there, it says on there what it was. Yeah. And then we, uh, we got a large pop. So... This is our White Castle experience, right, Kelly? Yes, it is. And it's four of Zach's line. You know what? I don't even know if the mic can pick you up. Just say that. Hang on. Let me point the mic at you. It says more of Zach's dream than it is mine ever since he watched Harold and Kumar. <laughs> so, yes, for like 15 years, I've been dreaming of going to White Castle. <laughs> we don't have them in Canada. <laughs> now, all we have to do is find a cheetah, go for a ride. Yeah, we're not going to do all the stuff they did in Harold and Kumar. <laughs> okay. Woohoo! So, I had White Castle. Thanks. Callie had White Castle. Um, it's, it's, I think my expectations were higher because of the movie. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe if you got the munchies, it's a lot better. I don't know. Or if you're high. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I was implying, but yeah. yeah. Um, so anyways, what do we think? Well, uh, it wasn't bad. I mean, it's they're, they're good little burgers, but they're tiny. Very uh, tiny. And they, they've got eggs, kind of, or not eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think. Onions kind of fried kind in with the meat. Kind of fried into the meat. Yeah, so you can't really, I guess you can try you scraping like them off. You can't take them out. Yeah. Um, and then uh, you got a pickle on it and then the bun. So it's all and bun. cheese if you want it. Right. Yeah. Yes, we had cheese. It's all bun. Well, it's not even that much bun. But the patties it's like are a little dinner roll. Yeah, and yeah. the patties are like microscopically thin. But uh, but I mean, hey, you know, if you're craving something, um, that's why it, on it's the gonna... menu it says like ten burgers, two fries, and a drink. Yeah, because you, you need ten. Like, well, you may, yeah. I don't know. We we had two each, and then we upgraded our fries to loaded fries, which weren't too bad. Yeah, um, not bad. And the uh, onion chips are kind of like onion rings, but not rings. They're not. They're basically chip. They're basically slices of onion, like in the form of a chip, with a coating on them, like a, a breaded coating. Coating, which are actually pretty good. Yeah, and uh, and, and then the, a pop. We shared a pop, and so. And the fries are crinkly fries with cheese sauce, the uh, sour fries. cream, and bacon. Bacon, yeah. And I think it's like real bacon too. It was definitely real yeah. bacon. Not I know bad. my bacon. Okay, I know my. <laughs> yes, he does. I know my bacon. Um, yeah, it was it was real. So again, you know, it's I I, I got it out of the way. It's done. Um, I'm not craving anymore. I probably won't crave it anymore. But uh, yeah, we're glad we did it. It was it was a White Castle experience. So not my ideal, no. um, but it wasn't bad. No. Uh, I think I enjoyed the onion chips the best. What? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Get that out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So now we are going to go to, actually, we're, this is really exciting. Our, our next stop in Vegas is going to knock you, I, I, it's going to knock your socks off. It's fantastic. So we're, exciting. It is so exciting. We're going to Walgreens. Okay. Uh, Kelly's looking for some hairspray. So uh, I'm probably not going to film in there. No. We'll see you after.
We're going to see some people going here on the uh, Slotzilla, the Fremont Street, Slotzilla, um, what do you call that? Zip line, sorry, yeah. There they go. I have no idea who these people are. No, it's not too fast. Although it might feel fast if, if that's you on there. And it's cool, because you gotta go under the canopy. That that would be so cool. I still wanna do that. We'll see. This guy's pretty good. Got, we're gonna we're gonna turn and walk the other way. But I just wanted to look at some of the cool stuff going on there now. Heart attack grill. Oh my god. Okay. All right. So the heart attack grill, if you weigh 350 pounds or more, and they will weigh you on a scale, you get to eat for free. So I mean, I guess if, if you're overweight, that's a pretty sweet deal. But um, everybody else, you got to pay now. I guess the waitresses are all dressed up like nurses. If you order wine, they bring it to you in an IV that you drink out of a like an IV tube. Um, the burgers are massive, monstrous, humongous, fat burgers. They've got like a 20,000 calorie milkshake or something crazy like that. 10, Is it 10,000? Okay, yeah. 10,000 calorie milkshake. And anyways, when you order your, your burgers and they've got like eight patty burgers and whatever, if you order, you order your food, if you don't finish it all, um, then they, they will paddle your ass. Hey, how you doing? Hello. What's, what's your name? Q. Q from Q. Germany. From Germany. Here, give me a card. You be on YouTube. Okay. 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 Um, so, Kelly, how how would you feel about a nurse coming out and paddling you or me if we didn't finish our meal? She'd have to catch me first. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't know. If you're into that kind of thing, this is the place to go. Personally, I don't like getting paddled, although. I, I have yet to find a burger I can't finish. That's a um, private conversation. Yeah, that, <laughs> that is a private conversation. Anyway, so heart attack grill. Um, and yeah, they dress you up like a patient. They stuff you until you're sick. Uh, people have really had heart attacks here, I've heard. So um, anyways, that's that. On we go. Okay, we're checking out Fremont East District. So, a little less colorful, no overhead canopy. Um, now you've got the uh, El Cortez over here, and they, I just saw the sign. Why is my camera going like that? I just saw the sign for the El Cortez, and they were advertising uh, uh, roulette 50 cents a chip kind of thing, minimum $2 bet though. But, uh, so it's definitely a cheaper place to gamble as opposed to the $15 bets on uh, on the strip if you like playing relax Griffin this is the flipping good burgers and shakes we're not eating here but we're just checking it out have a look. On we go. Move it on. So what do we got up here? We got the smoked pig gastro pub. 
Griffin cocktails. What's this? Home of Boozy Bingo and Habanera Pickle Backs. Boozy Bingo. That's. That sounds that's, like where your grandmother loved to go. I was just thinking if grandma if grandma was still alive and she came here, would she play Boozy Bingo? Although grandma was never boozy, so. Um, no, I don't think my grandma was ever boozy. Not that I ever knew. So that that may not be for her. But maybe just yeah to go in and play bingo and watch the other boozy people. That might be fun. She might have liked that. Not really a whole lot more down here on Fremont East. I mean, I see a couple older small buildings down here, a couple of casinos, but I think we're probably gonna head back. We're gonna head back to the other Fremont Street. Where are you? Kelly, are you lost? Yeah, let's, maybe we'll, let's go into El Cortez and, and check it out. Okay, so we're here at the Wynn. We collected our uh, two for one buffet deal that we got from using the MyVegas. And this is the first plate that I've got for the uh, dinner buffet. Please come with your first plate of food. Okay, plate number two. Mm. Okay, so uh, Kelly didn't have a second plate of real food. She has a second plate for her oh, second plate. Oh yeah, she's got some cheese and crackers. Sorry, that's her second plate of real food. And then uh, she's got her nice little plate of dessert. Looks uh, pretty good. The dessert might be the best part of the buffet. We'll see. Dessert for myself, I've got uh, uh, pistachio type cake. Um, I've got something called a Neapolitan. There we go. And because I'm trying to eat healthy, I've got a piece of uh, honeydew. <laughs> that was a joke. All right, so this is the end of the night here at the Cravings Buffet, Mirage. Good night, everyone, at the buffet. We're one of the last ones to leave, as you can see. So it's kind of cool here behind the uh, check-in desk we've got a massive fish tank so if you like fish if you're staying here great if you're not staying here you, know, you might want to take a quick trip here and check it out Any of them ever try to eat each other? <laughs> huh? Is here already? Okay, we just ordered the lift like one second ago and it's here. So that's pretty cool. Pretty quick. <laughs> 